pretty sure I heard that butt crash, but... So the blood trail came across the creek right here and Oscar first found it down there. He found it. And then when you look at the mud right here, uh -huh. that's where the deer slipped all the way up. And then there's some more blood right up here along the trail. So everywhere you see the grass turned over. Yeah. That's where the deer stuck. <laughs> Wait till you see him, he's beautiful. Oh my god. Let's go get our buck. 45 <laughs> yards, look at that buck. Good boy. Look at that buck. You can see where he's rubbed cedar trees. And these are uh, very beautiful, light brown antlers. Look at that rack. So he's a 10 pointer, four on each side. Typical and two very nice brow tines. What a beautiful animal. So let's see where we hit him when I shot him. Oh my god, what a beautiful deer. Ryan here with Traditional American Hunter, traditionalamericanhunter.com. And uh, you've just taken this beautiful, beautiful buck here in, uh, on our land in North Georgia. And uh, he came in chasing a doe. I heard, I heard uh, back to my left. My stand is about 50 yards up there. And I heard back to my left, the leaves just rustling like crazy. And then I looked down to my left and there's the doe. And this all happened within a minute. Um, it was the doe and then the buck. He stood right here facing that way. My stand is 50 yards over there, straight back behind me. And I shot him between all the trees down through the entrance right here. He's quartering away, which was a great shot. Um, he only ran 100 yards and uh, he fell several times. The bullet went straight through him and out his shoulder. There's the exit wound right there. About 9, 10 a.m., I heard the leaves rustling to my left. Something was coming through. A hot doe came in right here. You can see her trail right there. So when you see a doe, when you hear a doe come running through the woods, don't always take the first shot for the first deer. There could be a buck behind her, and it is rut. So it's November 25th. 2015 and uh, just over two hours ago a doe came running through to my left. I was up in the stand maybe 15 feet, 12-15 feet and then a buck was right behind her and uh, he was clear down over here between the trees. You see that hat? That's where, the, that's where the deer is. <laughs> so he was at 50 yards, um, and I put the hat on his horns to show you how far he is. And I was right there, and I had to shoot between the trees. I hit him um, quarter and away, completely facing that direction where the doe was. I had to whistle to get him to stop. The earlier reel of the video shows that. I had to whistle to get him to stop. When he finally stopped, I hit him here, and it came out through his front. 
and it's a perfect place to hit a deer. You do not have to hit a deer broadside to kill it. You can hit it straight through the side and hit the lungs, the heart, maybe even the liver, and he left a great blood trail at about 20 yards from where I shot him. And of course he ran down through the water. And uh, this is the same creek that we uh, found the doe in that we shot with uh, a broadhead and a bear recurve, um, my Cheyenne recurve. And today, today I was using my Black Mountain Magnum 50 cal, and man, it puts a hole through them. So, 50 cal, that's a half inch hole, folks. This gun did exactly what it was supposed to. It went straight through the back of the buck as he was quartering away, got his vitals, and came out his front left. So, this is an amazing gun. It's a half inch hole. You do not have to have a 30 6 or some high powered rifle with a scope. These are iron sights with a little bit of fiber opti optics in them. And uh, that is what we got today. TraditionalAmericanHunter.com